Hey everybody, uh, day 61 of the vlog, and we're back with another in our series of the primer for anti-racist white educators, Luke Michener. Uh, and we are now on, surprise, it seems like it's taking a long time, but also going fast all at the same time. So we're on number eight, which is? Act. Take action. Do something. Uh, join the equity team at your school or form the equity team at your school. Um, support student organizations that are doing this work in the school. But put, put yourself in the mix for folks who are trying to actually affect change in some way. Yeah, and I think so many times people, they, like, they tell me I don't know what to do uh, or I'm afraid of doing it wrong. And as we've covered in those previous ones, you, you kind of get to get past that fragility that you're going to do it wrong. You are going to do it wrong. Uh, and that's okay, and we'll talk about that next time. Um, but in the meantime, you've got to act. You have to do. There is too much to get done. Too much. Um, too many of our students that are that are being marginalized, that are hurting, that are not getting the opportunities in the education that we're supposed to do it. So whatever your your empower the influence your your sphere, your community, your small circle of the world, you got to do something. Yep. And one way to get engaged when you're wondering about what you might be able to do is just look around your community for organizations that are already doing the work and offer them uh, offer them help, offer them time, offer them money if you can. Like get involved in some there's lots of different ways you can get involved. Just look around and see who's already doing the work and and pull on that lever. Um, and and coming from if you're a privileged educator like like I am as a as a white cis um, straight male uh, there I have access to a lot of different institutions um, I and simply walking in the door of a principal and saying that you would like to see something is taking action and, and that might lead to um, you know might lead to something down the road and if you're coming from a place of privilege where you can just do that you can just walk in and, and not be questioned and you'll be heard, then take advantage of that and speak on behalf of those who, who might have a little bit harder time accessing um, accessing those uh, levers of power. Yeah, absolutely. And, you know, I, I think you need to continue to escalate your action. Um, for some, like a lot of times we criticize the social media activists, right, somebody who's willing to repost. But I actually acknowledge that for some person that's never put themselves out there and has family that – may strongly disagree with that like posting something on facebook may be a first step it may be a first act but it's not don't just let yourself sit there in that uh don't let you sit in the small things like you need to be thinking about what can i do to improve myself what can i do to help this student how can i do um in, in my place of work what can i do in my community all right and so just keep challenging yourself to escalate your level of action um, starting off small is perfectly fine. That's where we all start. We all start with something, uh, one small act of kindness or one small action to, to stand up for a student or to for a colleague. Uh, but don't don't let yourself get comfortable in that. Always push yourself to be doing more because I guarantee there is no um, lack of work to be done. Truth. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, guys. Yeah, thank you, guys. Uh, we'll see you next time for number nine.